One of the stars of the new Bosch Benchmark series is definitely the Flex Induction Cooktop. So for example, with an induction cooktop, you usually have defined burners. And defined burners mean that you're limited to certain sizes of pans because the inductors are designed to recognize the size of those pans. But with a flex induction, we can use a couple of small pans on the flex zone, or we can use that flex zone for one very large oversized pan. Now we are great fans of induction cooktops. Of course we love all our products, but there's something to be said about standing in front of an induction cooktop on a hot day and having no heat coming back at you. That's because when we cook with induction, we only have a 5% heat loss. Another great feature of induction is that it requires minimal ventilation. So if you're considering putting your cooktop in an island or a peninsula, have a serious look at induction. I'm going to show you a few ways in which we use the induction cooktop here in the showroom to give you a sense of the amazing versatility of this Bosch Flex induction cooktop. So this is a perfect example of how you can really benefit from using your flex induction. With a defined burner induction cooktop, I'm going to have one burner position that's quite small. But here, because I have the flex zone, I can have not only my small coffee pot uh, brewing my fresh espresso, but I can also have a small container for my milk on here as well. So sometimes if the pans aren't heavy enough and you put um, that pan on a larger burner on the defined zone, the inductors don't recognize it. That's why the flex is so flexible. Now, breakfast is a time when we often use a griddle. We use griddles for cooking bacon and sausage and pancakes and French toast and making eggs. Um, you can also use a cast iron pan. Take care when you heat your pans up on your induction cooktop. Use a moderate temperature, four to five is a good setting, until you see how your pans react to the heat. Now another great feature of um, induction is when you are cooking foods that may have some residual splatter like bacon, then you can easily put a paper towel down over a burner so that those splatters end up on the paper towel and you'll have minimal cleanup when you finish cooking. So one of my favorite features of cooking with the induction cooktops is the timer. Now I can link the timer to each burner on the cooktop. So for example, if I want to put the bacon on and leave it for a few minutes, I set the timer, I know that things won't overcook. I can set it to turn the cooktop off or it can just remind me that it's time to get back to the cooktop. Now we all love stir fry because there's something about the flavor of the food when it's quickly cooked and then gently simmered to perfection that really is appealing. So along with stir fry, we'd like to cook some rice. I love to cook rice on the induction cooktop because I have so much control. Bring the water to a rapid boil. I can use the power boost feature for that, of course, and then add my rice, set it on to a lower temperature. I usually set it at three and let it simmer. Now, I've never had a boil over cooking rice on my induction cooktop because it responds so quickly. If I do see that the, it's getting too much action in the pan, I can just get it to stop instantly. Of course, I use the timer to make sure that once the rice is cooked, it will turn off and it will just sit there and be perfect when I'm ready. Now, when it comes to cooking meats and vegetables for stir fry, we have a major difference from cooking on gas. When we cook on gas, we have a flame that comes up around the pan and heats the perimeter of the pan. On induction, just the base of the pan that's sitting on the cooktop is going to get hot. So this is an instance where it's really important to let the pan heat up on low heat so that the sides become hot. If you aren't getting the results that you want from your stir fry on induction, then my other recommendation is change the type of pan and use a pan that has a wider base. You'll still get great results. I found that this um, stainless steel wok does a great job. It has a flat bottom, it's uh, got shallow sides, it heats up really quickly but very evenly. But you may have to try a few to find one that suits you best. Now, along with my stir fry and rice, I'm grilling some pork tenderloin here. And you can see 
that using the grill on the flex induction is a great asset to me to have the flex zone because now I have this lovely even heating. Again, you can use paper towels under any of these um, pans to avoid a massive cleanup. And when you have tools like this to cook with, you know your food actually comes out better because you, you're not hectic and rushing around the kitchen. Another great example of how you can benefit from using your flex induction cooktop. Now most people love risotto, but sometimes we make our risotto with a small orzo pasta and we get great reviews on this. So we saute some onions and a little bit of linguisa sausage and then we add the orzo in and just the same as when you make risotto, then you add some hot stock. Of course, induction is so easy to do this on because you've got one pan here doing the cooking, your stock is sitting here simmering. This particular dish cooks very, very quickly. Um, risotto made with, um, in the typical fashion with rice can take 35 to 40 minutes. But with this orzo pasta, it'll probably be done in about 15 to 20 minutes. So what we're going to serve with it is a little bit of blackened salmon. Now, when it comes to searing fish on your cooktop, it can be very, very easy, providing you use the right type of pan. Now, stainless steel works very well on induction, but make sure you choose pans that have this heavy base so that they'll sit nice and flat on the cooktop. Heat the pan over very moderate heat. Add your oil, and when you see it start to shimmer, move the temperature up a little bit. Maybe six would be the maximum. Carefully lay your fish into the pan. Once you can see a nice crust has formed on the fish, slide a very thin spatula under the fish and turn it over. Now you can reduce the heat maybe down to four and just let it finish cooking through. This way you'll get a lovely flavorful piece of salmon, be a lovely accompaniment to your orzo pasta risotto. I found a great selection of pans to cook with on induction over the years. We certainly love high quality cast iron and good quality stainless steel. But if you're afraid you can't find the right kinds of pans to cook with on, on your induction cooktop, do check the Bosch website. They have some fabulous accessories for the flex induction cooktops and they have some great suggestions about pans that you can use with success.